Hey guys, welcome back for another one. We are going to be addressing the skill of angles today on the ACT, really a few different ways that they can ask this skill. It does show up on pretty much every single ACT, so this is a question that you might be missing and really there's no reason. It's quite simple. Let's take a look at a few different things that they can test. First of all, what are the rules? Well, the first rule is, what do the three angles in a triangle have to add up to? They have to add up to 180. In other words, if this was 30 and this was 70, what must this last angle add up to? Of course, it must be 80 degrees. They all have to add up to 180 degrees. Another skill that is tested on all the time is this one. Really, the idea of an isosceles triangle. Again, an isosceles triangle is when this side and this side are the same. Really, two sides of a triangle are the same. In that case, understand that if, that if those two sides are the same, then these two angles are also the same. Really, these two corresponding angles will also be the same. In that case, how could a question look like for this? Well, first of all, if this angle was, I don't know, 40 degrees, if that's 40, then this is also 40. And if both of those are 40, really they add up to 80, this must be then 100. So that's another skill that can be tested, isosceles. Another skill is the straight line example. Really, if this angle is 30 degrees here, what must this one here be? Well, that one's gonna be 150 degrees. And of course, why? Well, that's because when you have a straight line, these angles add up to 180 degrees. Really, that alludes to the next skill, really the vocabulary behind this. These angles are supplementary. Again, these angles here are supplementary. Angles that add up to 180 are called supplementary angles, whereas angles that add up to 90 degrees are called complementary angles. So those are the rules for angles that can help us solve any of these questions, but now let's try addressing some of them. This is another rule that shows up all the time on the ACT. It's called vertical angles. We don't really need to know what they're called, but understand that any time that you, do, you have two angles that make an X like this, again, this line and this line make an X, well, therefore, this must also be 89 degrees. These are called vertical angles. Really, if this is 89, then this is 89. Let's try another one. Let's come over here and try this one. These are all real ACT questions. How would I attempt a question like this? Well, first of all, if this is 38 and this is, again, a vertical angle, that's also going to be 38 degrees. From there, it does say something really important. It says AB is congruent to BC. Really, this side and this side are the same. And what kind of triangle does that make this? Again, what type of triangle does that make that when two sides are the same? I, isosceles. That's an isosceles triangle. So if that's 38, then this is also 38. And if both of those are 38, what was that other rule? Oh, in a triangle, they all add up to 180. Therefore, what is this last angle? I think it's going to have to be 104 degrees. Again, how did I do that? I did 180 minus 76, leaving me with 104. That's good for that question. Let's come down here. I have a few more. Let's try 25 from a real ACT. Pause it if you want to give it a shot before I work through it. But again, it said something really important. It says AB is congruent to AC. AB is congruent to AC. In that case, what's happening here? Well, understand that if these are congruent, then these two angles are congruent. Again, what kind of triangle is that? An isosceles triangle. If that's the case, well, first of all, these two angles must be the same. So I have 180 minus 58, leaving me with 180. 122 and from there split that in half really split it in half so you have 61 and 61 in other words your final answer would be 61 and 61 degrees your answer is d all right we're flying these aren't too bad let's come over here for this question this is just a number two from an act this shouldn't be too bad 35 and 95 add up to 140 actually 130, oops, 130. If those add up to 130, then what's gonna be left here in this triangle? Of course, 50. If that's 50, what's left on this straight line? That's gonna be 130. That's it. My answer is H. 
I'll keep flying. Let's come down here for some harder ones, some challenge questions for today. This over here will be our number 46, a challenge question coming at, coming at us from the end or towards the end of the ACT. But it's not that hard. Take a second and pause the video here if you want to give this, uh, give this question a try yourself. But if not, please just watch along. What I understand is that it tells us that angle 1 is 3x minus 10 and angle 2 is 2x plus 10. In that case, I have this is 3x minus 10 and this angle is 2x plus 10. What did we say earlier? We said that when lines make an x like this, what can you do? Oh, this angle and this angle are vertical angles. In other words, this angle and this angle must be the same. Ooh, 2x plus 10 equals 3x minus 10. And now that's going to allow us to unlock the value of x. You have x equals 20. And unfortunately, that's not our answer. How would I go about finishing off this question? Well, what I would understand is, at this point, you know what x is. And of course, you want this angle here. So plug 20 back in. When you plug 20 back in, you have 2 times 20 plus 10. That's, of course, going to give you 50 degrees. In other words, this angle here was 50 degrees all along. And if that angle is 50 degrees, what do you think this one right here is? That's going to be 40. It has to be. And again, why? Well, if this is a 90 degree angle, 90 minus this 50 would leave you just with 40. My friends, the answer is G. That's 46. I'll pause there for a second, and then we move to number 60. Number 60 is arguably one of the harder SAT, or sorry, ACT angle questions that I've ever seen, but even this is not that bad. Let's try this one together. What I understand is that it uses the word bisect, and if you don't know what that word means, you should probably write this down somewhere. The word bisect means to split in half. Split in half. If I bisect you, I'm splitting you in half. In that case, what I'll do is I'm going to draw myself a nice little ray. Really, I have a ray like that, a ray like that. And we can call this L, P, and M. You have to draw pictures for questions like this. It does say that ray PK bisects this angle. So we could call this angle here, really, this ray, ray PK. Again, this is our ray PK bisecting this angle. From here, we're about to be done. Really, we have LPK is 4x plus 18, but the whole thing is equal to 11x. I'll say that again. The whole angle here, like this, is equal to 11x degrees. Well, the genius behind this question is to understand that if this is 4x plus 18, then this is also 4x plus 18. And when you add those together, in other words, if you can add this angle and this angle together and set that equal to 11x, that's our game plan. Really, we have 4x plus 18 plus 4x plus 18 is equal to 11x. Now, this is going to allow us to unlock the value of x. So we have 8x plus 36 equals 11x. Subtracting 8 from both sides, 8x at least, you have 36 equals 3x, x equals 12. But do not just choose answer choice F. It is not correct. Be careful. What are they asking for? They're asking for KPM. Again, they're asking for this angle here. So it is your responsibility to plug 12 back in for x. And when you do so, you get the answer. The answer is K. So that is our quick little review of angles, really geometry skills from the ACT. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments, concerns down below. And I will see you guys in the next one.